Hey guys, it's the Solar Clock Game Today, and so this Monster Legends Week video, we have some brand new leaked movesets as well as some new leaked events. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak is actually a brand new ancestor monster named Matter Ganeza, and he is going to be inside of the uh, Cosmo Civilizations book. And he will be inside of the Conjuring along with two new multiverse monsters, which is pretty cool. So yeah, definitely go and try to get him. If you want him, you will probably be very overpowered like most ancestors are. So yeah, he will be worth getting, but he will most likely cost a bit of money. But yeah, if he's good enough, I guess he could be worth it. I'm not sure if we have his moves yet. Oh, we do. We'll see it in this video. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that. Keep sticking around in this video to go and watch that. And yeah, we'll look at that third. We actually have three movesets to look at. So the first one is going to be Tobble. He is a light and metal attacker with repentance, bleed, shields, and possession immunity. So he is going to be able to deal heavy light damage with repentance to one enemy. He also has an immunity to possession with a 33% life shield to any ally, which is pretty cool. He has an AOE 33% life shield. He also has a 25% life shield. He has a repentance to one enemy. He's got a bleed to one enemy. He has an underworld dweller's hater with possession to himself or immunity to possession to himself. And then an AoE bleed. So yeah, these are just kind of bad moves. Tobble just doesn't seem like a good monster at all. So yeah, don't really bother with getting him. He is kind of just really bad. And then we have a bunch of descriptions right here. If you want to go and read any of those, you can pause the video right now and just go ahead and read them over. And now let's go and move on to the next moveset for Power Root. So Power Root is going to be a Thunder in Nature tank with Roots, Shock, Poison, and Healing skills, which actually sounds pretty interesting. So he has a shock and poison to all enemies, which is a decent move. He also has a poison to one enemy. He has a roots and poison to one enemy. He has a roots and heals itself by 25%, which is pretty decent. He has a heals all allies by 40%. That also does damage and shock, which is pretty cool. And then he has a heal all allies by 30% with thunder protection all allies. It just seems like a decent monster i guess he definitely seems better than the last one definitely better than tobble but he's still not very good to be honest so yeah better than tobble but still not very good and then we have a master ganuza's description as well as his awakening which you will have to get by applying negative effects 15 times which doesn't seem too hard and that does count for any allies so yeah definitely not hard at all you just need a cursor and then you can get it in like two turns and then his virtues are going to be 50% damage protection. And then another one, the damage protection is very, very good though. That is a very good virtue. So the other one honestly doesn't even really matter because he already has an amazing one. But I'm sure the other one will make him even better. And then we have his move set. So he's going to be a magic and metal support, total blind, total damage reduction, and random negative effect skills. So keep in mind this monster is an ancestor monster. So he's supposed to be very good because they are pretty hard to get. And of course, it is the highest rarity in the game, so he should be a very good monster. So let's go and get into the moveset. He has a remove positive effects from all enemies with a damage reduction to all enemies. That's a pretty great move. He also has a total damage reduction to one enemy, which is pretty good. He has an AoE random negative effect twice with nanovirus as well, which is really great. That is three negative effects in one turn. So that will definitely help towards the 15. And then he also has a random status effect to all enemies. He also has a itself extra turn with total blind, which is pretty good. He has a random negative effect to one enemy. He has a random negative status effect and nanovirus to all enemies, which is pretty good. He also has a total blind to all enemies, which is really good. And then he also has a removes positive status effects from one enemy and applies total damage reduction to one enemy, which is really good. I like that a lot. And then he has removes evasion from all enemies with a total blind and moderate magic damage. That is very situational, so you probably won't be using that, but it's still decent. And then he has an AoE blind and he has an AoE total blind and blind, which is pretty cool. So yeah, he seems like a decent monster. He honestly doesn't seem super overpowered, but he does seem pretty great still. He just has some really good moves. He's a really good cursor. He's very, very good. And the total blind is really cool. That can help deny even. So yeah, he seems like a really good monster. Definitely get Master Geniza. And yeah, that is for me for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of all these monsters in the brand new Ancestor especially. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.